Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to build a streamlit graphical user interface so that we can chat with a travel recommendation rag using Llama Index with an open AI model. I'll show you an example in Python. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. We will use two things, Streamlit and Llama Index. For the travel recommendation reg to work, we need to provide an open AIAPI key and data directory path. We do this by setting two environment variables in the Streamlit secrets file. As you can see, I set both. The open AI API key is needed because we will use the open AI GPT 3.5 turbo model. The data directory path is needed because we will provide data that will serve as a knowledge base for our chatbot. We will simply use dummy data, which is set in the dummy data JSON file. If we go back to the Python file, you can see that the code is written in such a way that if those two environment variables are provided, if you run the app, you will see this, just the chat graphical user interface. Let's delete both to see what happens. But if those two environment variables are not provided, if you run the app, you will see this. On the left, there's a sidebar where you can provide your open AIAP I key and data directory path. So it's not necessary to use the streamlit secrets file because you can set both variables here in the sidebar. Add both environment variables back and let's continue the code breakdown. Here, we simply set the app title. The main logic of this Streamlit app is using Streamlit's session state. Here we set the open AI model to the session state. The model will always be the same. This will not change while we use the app, so it's hard coded. Here we set the messages to the session state. The list is initially empty because the messages will be added later on while we use the app. Here we iterate over messages and display them. We want to display the content for the given role. There will be two roles, user and assistant. Now comes the fun part. We will use the streamlit chat input element to be able to get the user's input. Then we append the user's question to the streamlit session state. We will show the user's question using the streamlit markdown element. Next, we need to set the open AI model parameters. More precisely, we will set four system prompt model open AI API key and max tokens. In the system prompt, we set the instructions on how the open AI model should behave. We want it to be a helpful travel assistant answering questions from the data directory. Further prompt engineering might yield even better responses from the open AI model, but this is good enough for this tutorial. The model is retrieved from the session state. The open AI API key is retrieved from the streamlit secrets file. The max tokens is set to 250, not to burn too many tokens. Then we have an if statement where we check if the data directory provided is valid. If not, we want to display an error message using the streamlit error element. If the data directory is valid, then we want to load documents from the given data directory and create a vector store index from the loaded documents. Vectors are a key component rag because the user's input will be transformed into a vector and then compared with vectors created from data. The closest data vector to the input vector is returns an assistance answer. Here we set up a query engine and perform a streaming query. We are able to stream the assistance response by setting the Alama index streaming parameter to true and using the streamlit write stream element. This element is very cool because it handles data chunks, so we don't have to. Consequently, it's very easy to achieve the typewriter effect with streamlit. The last thing is appending the assistance's answer to the streamlit session state the same as we append the user's question up here, so that when we ask another question, all previous questions and corresponding answers will be displayed by Streamlit reading them from the session state. Let's run the app. Run the following command. Streamlit run and add the Python file name. In my case, this is the name of the Python file. The Streamlit app can be viewed if we visit localhost on port 8501 in a browser. Let's do it. Let's say... We have a family and want to travel somewhere. Success. Our travel recommendation rag works as expected. Let's ask another question. Mind blowing, isn't it? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, 
and subscribe.